I don't know why I call all flowers little guys. This is Nicole from My Sunshine Shop and today we are going to make a maternity sash. So we have these for sale on our website pre-made or in a kit or you can also just go through select your own flowers embellishment and lace to make your own um, and we'll go over how to do either of those. So the first thing that we're going to start with is our lace. So as you can see this is actually a two inch wide stretch lace and that's going to be the base of our sash. So we're starting off with two yards of that and I am doing the mint and uh, lavender sash today. So we're starting with two yards of this and if you want it can be even a little bit longer. The way that you secure the sash on is you tie it in a pretty bow in the back. So if you want your bow to have nice long flowing tails at the end, you can make it even longer. Um, so we'll just start by finding the center of our two yards. I'm laying that out like that. And your kit is gonna come with a variety of sizes of felt circles here. Um, if you don't get a kit, you'll just wanna go ahead and buy at least a few um, of the two and a half and at least you'll want at least two or three of the three inch ones just to give you a nice big solid base for your sash um, and what that's going to do is it's going to go under your your lace and hold your flowers in place so that they don't flop around on your maternity sash all right and then the next thing you're going to do before we even use these felt circles here you're going to start getting your flowers ready and arrange them to see how you want them um, depending on what flowers you decide to use, they might need a little bit of extra preparation. For example, this ranunculus here has a stem in the middle that you don't want that on your maternity sash. So the way to get rid of that is just to pull off this back. Um, if you can't get it off, you can cut it, but I usually am able just to pull it apart with my fingers here. And then that will leave you with just a bunch of layers that you're gonna just put a blob of glue in between each of those layers and glue those together and then that'll make a nice pretty base for if you want to add a rhinestone embellishment or something like that on top so we'll do that in just a second I'm gonna decide how I want these I have one more flower here let's see how do I want these all laid out just play around with it a little bit until you like how that's looking. I got this right there. Okay, and I think that'll work for me. So really quickly, I will get my ranunculus all glued together. Another flower that might need a little bit of extra preparation is called a shabby chiffon flower. Those come attached to a netting. So if you get one of those in your kit or if you decided to use some of those on your maternity sash, how you'll want to prepare those is just trim away as much of the netting as you can get and then singe the netting to make it kind of pull back and then you won't see any of the netting on your maternity sash when it's done. So like I said, just little dots of hot glue. You don't need too much because you have so many layers building up together. They'll all kind of squish together and hold each other. So as I'm gluing this, I'll kind of talk about um, the maternity sashes. These started off as kind of a decorative way to dress up your maternity bump. They're great for maternity photo sessions or for baby showers. Um, I know that some people have gotten together to actually make these at baby showers, which is really cute. And it's becoming even more popular to use these after the maternity shoot or yeah to use them in the maternity shoot and then after the baby's born to go ahead and use it in the newborn shoot so you can kind of have like a little side by side uh, mommy's bump and then the baby with the little sash so it's a multi-purpose photo prop you could even use it if you so choose like in nursery decor kind of have the pictures and the flowers all together which is why there's so many options for different uh, color schemes and things like that. And then you could even 
personalize it a little bit more if you decide to pick your own. But I know we have some gender neutral color schemes. We have some blues and greens, some pinks and yellows. We have all sorts. So, all right, we're getting towards the end here. And when you're hot gluing here, you want to be sure to not stick your finger over the hole that's in the middle of the ranunculus because, as you can see, the hot glue kind of, oops, don't need that in there. Get that guy out of there. Like I was saying, as you can see, the hot glue kind of oozes through the little hole in the center there, so you don't want to put your finger right in the hot glue. All right, so now we have a nice, pretty, fluffy little ranunculus here. So to top it off, I will just add a little bit of hot glue in the center here and glue this rhinestone embellishment to cover the hole there. All right, and that will be the first flower on my maternity sash. So I'm gonna use one of my biggest felt circles here because um, we wanna really keep this guy in place because he's a little, gets a little heavy with all those, all the petals and all that glue. So I will just go. And what I like to do is just start off with like a big blob of glue right in the middle and then stick it down. And then once, once that's in place, I pull it up on the edges and see where I need a little bit more glue. I don't want to cover the whole thing in glue right away because I really don't want any extra glue oozing out from the sides. I'm not a big fan of that. So just add a little bit more glue here to get the petals secure. Put a little bit under here too. And we're going to get lots more layers here with more, more flowers. So you don't have to be too picky yet. We'll go back at the end and squish everything down and get it really glued in place. Okay, so that is our first flower. I'm going to get another medium sized felt circle here and just keep going. I'll just kind of squish everything in place here. You really want to overlap these here so that you don't end up with too wide of a sash. You want to have kind of just a pretty little arrangement. Actually, I'm going to use a bigger felt circle here because I know I have this guy, this big purple guy coming up. So we'll use this bigger circle here. And like I said, you kind of think of these felt circles as your base that you're building up. So they're kind of holding everything in place for you. And if you can, you want to overlap them so that you have a nice little sturdy support system for your flowers. We'll just squish that guy in there. I don't know why I call all flowers little guys, even the pink and the purple ones. All right. Now these rolled satin flowers, they're really pretty. It's nice that I don't have to roll the rosette myself, but they're not completely stuck in place. So you want to make sure to get a lot of hot glue right in the middle there to keep them really nice and secure. Just the way that they're made, it needs a little bit of backing. If you buy these separate, they come with a little felt circle that you can stick right on the back, but we don't need that because we are gluing it to this big felt, felt circle here. And as you can see, I have a little bit of felt circle showing there, which I don't want. So I'll just put that petal down there and glue it in place. We use kind of a neutral color coordinating felt circle, but we still don't want it to show through our finished product. And as I'm going, I'll be kind of pulling on the sides here and seeing where the glue hasn't gotten and adding more dots of glue as I go. But like I said, I like to build it up slowly so that I don't end up with too much glue. We don't want any oozing. All right, let's add another felt circle. And this is one of the simpler maternity sashes. Some have a lot more flowers, some have a lot more of the rhinestone embellishments. Um, and then of course, if you decide to go with a custom one, you can add as many as you like. I've also seen them with some like sparkly bows added on. You know, just anything that really makes it personal to you. 
your color scheme for your shower or your color scheme for your nursery or you know wherever you plan on using these photos when you're done. So put one more right in there. All right, and then what I'm gonna do to finish it up is check on the back. You can see there's kind of a little gap here. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly overlapping, but I really like how secure the felt circles make it and how finished it helps it look. So I'm gonna add one more just to make sure it's really nice and secure there. And then this one's kind of pulling up there. So just go and add a little bit more glue here to help that stay in place. All right, and then you have a pretty personalized homemade maternity sash. Let us know if you have any questions on these or if you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.